Look, look, look here, folks. As y'all know, LeBron James just injured his so-called leg on a play y'all seen on TV. And now when I turn on the news today, man, I see Lakers legend Elgin Baylor just died. And I figured his death right here was all connected to LeBron James injuring his little bitty leg or whatnot. Or what you call so-called leg injury. But this is stuff that be happening around the NBA. As y'all know, it's a lot of death that been around the Lakers since LeBron been there. And a lot of people don't really pay attention to that. They just be watching basketball thinking, yo, man, LeBron, he the best basketball player that ever played. But when you look at it, man, everywhere LeBron goes, man, it is death. Because LeBron is the face of the NBA. And when you say the face, almost like the teacher's pet of Pop Better Lucy. And that's exactly what LeBron is doing. And, you know, I believe LeBron is doing the offerings himself. Like, I feel like he's taking time off and go do the offerings, man. Like, Elgin Baylor and Kobe Bryant and all these cats, man. Because this is how Pop Better Lucy worked when the offerings were being did. You got to go do the offerings yourself. Like, you see people getting run over. You see a lot of stuff going on. They just ain't hiring people to do the stuff. They doing it they sell. Like, LeBron be doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes, man. That's why you see LeBron left the game. Then a couple days later, you wake up. Elgin Baylor passed away. The great legends, man. It's Kobe, now Elgin Baylor. Who's next? Magic Johnson? Because Kobe gonna make these sacrifices. I mean, uh, LeBron, excuse me. LeBron gonna make these sacrifices to, to stay afloat, man. Because they want LeBron to be on top of the the NBA anyways. Like, I don't see nothing special he do, man. He got a live support hairline. Big old wide forehead. All he do is bully people running through the lane. Like, what does LeBron James do? Besides being big and taking PEDs, throwing down the roars down his belly, swat him like Skittles. Anybody can go take PEDs and just bully those everybody. That's why all these cats, man, they be having these injuries and stuff. Like, you see how LeBron never get injured. All of a sudden, he injured now. It's a coincidence, man. And now you see people dying and stuff. Everybody holler, oh, the GOAT. The GOAT will be bad. Yeah. The GOAT will be bad. Yeah. Y'all love LeBron. I don't. My, my subs don't. Cause we all know it's all sell our business. Straight up. Straight up, man. And then, they always have LeBron um, on ESPN, you know what I'm saying? You cats like Stephen A. Smithster, you know, always pushing the narrative on uh, LeBron. And that's the only way to get their ratings, bro. Like, they have to put LeBron in the title every day, bro. Like, they talk about him. From sun up to sundown, man. Because they getting paid to talk about this guy, man. And see, when you think about it, when LeBron retired, man, they got to pick another face of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, uh, like these stars get special treatment. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to pick somebody to be the face. It's probably going to be Zion, LaMelo Ball, or probably that Luka Doncic kid. Who knows, man? But there's always going to be one player that's way over everybody else. Because when you think about it, all the way from the 60s all the way on up, they had legends. You did what I'm saying? Like somebody that was like the one they talk about all the time. Just like Michael Jordan and, you know what I'm saying, legends, stuff like that. Magic had an arrow. Michael Jordan had an arrow. 
you know, Jules Irvin had eight arrows and stuff like that. But I was going to be one player they put over everybody else to face, and that's LeBron. And when LeBron go down or fake this little injury, man, then you see people dying. Or well, LeBron, it's always like a story with this stuff, man. Just like LeBron passed up Kobe, scoring title, man. Passed him up in scoring points. Then next day, Kobe Bryant miraculously passed away in an airplane crash. Just like this injury, now he doesn't bail dead. Pay attention to the NBA, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all set up, bro. It's all like a TV show, man. Just being played through your head. You know what I'm saying? And when you, when your when your noggin get full of this this crap, then you be too blind to even see it for yourself. But look though, what y'all think about Edge and Baylor death, man? And LeBron James miraculously injured his leg. Let me know in the comment box what y'all think about this, man. It's the messy robot, and I'm out.